Well, I'm involved, I've been with VIP for the last five years, and uh, the process of evaluating patients, urologic patients, the process of having to give the information of that prostate cancer diagnosis, and the way that the patients feel, their families, the effect that it has on the family. It's important for us to give back and to help these patients. So one of the main reasons of the foundation is to educate patients and families. And that's where, as a board member, as a urologist, um, I feel the need and to express and to give what, um, whatever knowledge I can to educate the patient and his family. The difference basically is applying knowledge to patients, educating them, um, but also being compassionate, not just delivering the, the information of the diagnosis, but offering a solution. The most important decision prop will probably be whatever they choose to do with this diagnosis. However, um, the most important is that the patient has to be comfortable with, with whichever decision he takes um, in fighting the disease. I believe we have a lot of weapons to fight the disease, but only a well-educated patient in this matter will choose the adequate, one, adequate ones. Other um, specialties, other patients, other uh, doctors should get involved because the process is of education, education for the community. Um, patients need to know about prostate cancer and only if the patient knows what to do or has the information readily available, he will choose in the, the right or make the right decision. Um, others should get involved because it's a growing issue that um, is kind of a taboo in our society. Um, there's no taboo about this. This is uh, is very real, and if we don't have real, if we don't perform real measures, it will just continue to um, be overlooked. So that's why um, everybody needs to know about the disease and get involved. <laughs>